Atiana Koto, Itapano Panui. Good morning, everybody. Uh, as Graham said, my name is Richard, and in 2009, 2010, um, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. As most of our guys would know, um, if we didn't have our wives with us, we probably wouldn't be here. So my wife told me, something's going wrong with you, go to the doctor, please. And I said, well, I'm fine. But she urged, she compelled, she slapped me around and I went to the doctor. Um, uh, the DRE, of course, um, revealed that I needed to go a bit further along in the, um, in the chain. The DRE was quite interesting. He says, I'm just going to put a finger in there to see what's going on and then he seemed to have put a whole fist up there. <laughs> but, um, and then he says to me, ooh, that is huge. And I said, and huge is good, right? <laughs> and he said, huge is not good. You need to go and see someone. So along the chain I went and um, I met this lovely young lady over here, Sue Osborne. She's a urology nurse practitioner at North Shore Hospital. Um, and I've Every three months of that whole time, I've gone to visit Sue and get reassurance and get my Zolodex and get my whatever it is that I'm on at the time. Um, and yeah, I really look forward to seeing Sue. That reassurance is always um, a, a very refreshing thing for me. Every three months, I get to see Sue. Um, the first time... Um, I met Sue, she sort of encouraged me to go to a, um, a prostate cancer meeting over at the shore. And I was very hesitant, I actually got there, waited around outside for a little while, and then I went in. And um, there were like 15, 16 gentlemen in there, all standing up to say, my name is, you know, Dave, I have a prostate cancer, I have prostate cancer, and um, I have a PSA level of 9, 16, 21, and it got to me, and I looked to Sue, and I said, am I correct in thinking my PSA was 842? And she said, you're correct. 842, very aggressive. And at the time was sort of a, yeah, it was a bit of a downer. And you think, listening to all these people, and they're talking about how how serious 16, 21, 9 is, and you're sitting there with 800 and something. And oh, no. But it came down pretty quickly. You know? But the drugs, the medical technology and advancements are just <clears throat> amazing. <clears throat> they kept me alive. Um, but pretty quickly, my prostate... Uh, PSA came down with the medication that I was on. Um, I can't remember what they were, Sue. Uh, yeah, so proterone. And now I'm on abiraterone. Um, but every day is a good day, you know. We all know that. Hey, our wives all know that. Unless we're annoying. But, um, and we're annoying in the way that they have to remind us. I get texts every day from either my wife, my granddaughters, my daughters, have you taken this pill? Have you taken that pill? And they go, oh, no, I haven't. So they keep me alive too. Um, anyway, um, welcome to 2019 um, National Prostate Cancer Foundation Conference. I would just like to open with a karakia and my mokopuna Ano Kia
kia mōhio te, ka, te aroho te kraiti e kore nei e tai e te whakaro kia tino ki rawa e māta e te atua ake, ake, ake anu He honore He kororia <coughs> Maunga rongo ki te whenua Whakaro Pai e Ki ngā tangata katoa Ake 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 Yeah.